Alright. Welcome back to Let's Play Eden Visual Novel. Hopefully, it will go smoothly. So, where we last left off, we talked things out with the um, Sergeant Major. And hopefully, it went w Hopefully, it doesn't go pretty nasty. So, it went well. So, anyway, let's continue reading again. They backed down after I spoke to the Sergeant Major commanding them and informed him I would take responsibility for returning Xion to her room. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? It's a little too intense. No problem. Elika watched over our negotiation attentively, jogged over and bowed. But... I glanced at Xion, who was staring at me for some reason. Elika nodded and faced her. Xion, それは私の Silly concern. Xion chided her. Elika bowed gently and concentrated her eyes on Xion. Yes, from what I heard earlier, Xion almost never showed herself before others. Strange feeling. Premonitician. Xion, Xion shook her head. The soldiers must be concerned too easily, that's why. I don't know. I don't know about paranoia though, but oh well. She showed an unpleasant smile before sharply turning away. I could see two shadows approximately ten meters behind her. They were the two who were supposed to guard her tonight. They still seemed perplexed that Xion had suddenly shown herself but wouldn't, but wouldn't withdraw with the other soldiers. Hmm. Really?狼が羊の群れに紛れ込んだところでその牙が抜け落ちたりはしない。何の話ですか？つまらない話。She said curtly. She said curtly and sh curtly and shook her head. I didn't know what she wanted to say, but I but decided not to think about it too deeply. I straightened my posture and turned to salute her. Or Ryo. Ryo, whatever you can call it, but yeah. She stared at me intently with those deep unmoving eyes. Yes. Hi. 
お話は聞いてる守ってもらってるのに姿を見せなくてごめん She spoke in a refined voice and slightly bent her knees for a small bow. Yeah. It was a quick bow, but she moved with such grace. I could see it now. Her behavior was certainly that of a princess. Tada. What does she want to do? 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 大きなお世話という言葉を教えてあげたい。シシ。しかも、私が部屋の外に出ただけで、大の大人が騒ぎ立てて、軍人なんて冷静じゃなくちゃダメなのに。She also seemed to have her share of complaints. Could she just be Xion's body double? Not really. Although I'm. He could have some few questions. Her mouth warped into a sarcastic grin and she drew closer. Yeah. ゴビを濁さずはっきりと言いたいことは最後まで言ってそういう曖昧さはよくない申し訳ありませんでした I bowed In this place I am Shion's guard which makes her my superior Shion それくらいでいいでしょうん言い過ぎた She gave another quick bow. So, I was just a little bit. 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 e l i k a nodded and walked up to her side. I was just a little bit. I was just a little bit. The guards who kept their distance should, couldn't be relied upon. Although she was just going back to her room, I said I would take responsibility. I had no intent of seeing the princess off here. But she shook her head. あなたはたった今仕事を終えたばかりでしょ<笑> I couldn't move as those eyes which seemed to see through everything fell upon me Did she know or お気をつけて Do take care <笑>お気をつけてお気をつけて<笑>ありがとう。You're welcome, I guess.Shion's mouth looked like she was smirking as she said that.Or was that a smile?It was hard to tell. <笑> ah, man, what's next? She calmly entered through the door the maid girl had opened for her. And Abba, who was lounging as usual, quickly rose and saluted Shion. Nomo, Saki Hodo was three, she must have. Honto ni three, that. Amarisa w a g a r i t o j o t o k o a Demo, what does no home was shows any hitoko e kaketekara, here or derebeki that. Her words were thick with sarcasm. 
The usually cheerful Elika also bowed her head down and did not try to interject. Without concerning the other soldiers, of course. Shion muttered as if there was something she wished to get off her chest. Inaba knew what she meant but pretended not to notice. あなたが自分から失害へ出たのは数ヶ月ぶりですからね。何事が起こったのかと思いまして、つい兵たちに追跡するよう命令を出してしまいました。いつも何事が起こってるのにここは大したことではありませんよ。Inaba maintained his composure as he answered her. But... It instigates it, probably. Shogunはただ仕事を全うしているだけですから。まもなく脱出計画は最終段階に入ります。だからこそ、今まで以上にあなたの安全に気を配る必要があるのですよ。She stared at Inaba with cold eyes before, sh before a short nod. もちろん、少佐が自分の職務に忠実であることは知ってる。すべては死を。あなたを守るためです。I hope he knows what he's doing. それも承知してるけど。Inaba bowed courteously. If it were to protect Shion, he would use all the leverage he had. Regardless of the risk, Inaba had no intention whatsoever of staying on the defensive. Inaba left the parlor, walked the hallway alone once more, and wiped the sweat from, from beneath his chin. It wasn't uncommon to come out of a meeting with Shion a little frayed around the edges. Inaba had been assigned to research number. Inaba had been assigned to research facility number 703 or 703. Right after being appointed second lieutenant. Lucky or not, he had many chances to meet with her. He had known her for some years now, yet he still could not hide his anxiety when standing face to face with her. The genius scientist who had lived for a hundred years and brought hope to this dying world. The girl who was called the Supreme Felix. Although her appearance was that of a girl in her youth, she was a completely different creature inside. <sighs> Inaba breathed a sigh and suddenly pondered. How was it for Ryo Haruna? He was indeed brazen, but did he falter before her? In a report he received earlier, he found Shion had made contact with Haruna. Inaba felt he should have requested a slightly more detailed account. Knowing Haruna, he may have possessed the necessary fortitude to endure Shion's overwhelming presence. Perhaps Ryo Haruna. Perhaps he can do what I could not. Hmm, I wonder what that means.
All right. I'll be ending it here for now. So let's see here. So let's overwrite this save. So next part, let's see what will happen next. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.